First question, Adam Spolin. Stephen, what was uh, the issue with the offense for much of the night? Um, we kind of reverted back to uh, isolation basketball. And, um, we didn't put enough pressure on their defense. We didn't move their defense around. Um, obviously, it's a process of kind of flipping that switch a little bit. But um, yeah, we were way too stagnant. Um, didn't move the ball enough to uh, put pressure on them and, and make it make it hard on them. Uh, I think you probably saw our amount of five out possessions were minimal tonight, and uh, that's got to be fixed. Kelly Eco. Hey, Coach. Um, just overall for Christian Wood, how would you assess him defensively? It seemed like there were times when he could have done a you know different job of protecting the rim and closing out. Yeah, it's a process with Christian on the defensive end. It's a hard job. Um, you know, it, it, there's two parts to it. There's the getting into the ball by the guard, excuse me, and the pursuit to get back in front of the guard so Christian doesn't have to play like in between. But Luca makes it hard, you know, because he puts you on his back on his or on his hip and you're kind of in between. And, and Christian was in between quite a bit tonight. Jonathan Fagan. When teams are trapping James as they were, ideally, how do you want to see things executed to take advantage of that? Yeah, we need to have better spacing. We need to get the ball to the middle of the floor and um, take advantage of the weak side of the floor. And we didn't do that tonight. We didn't get um, to the weak side very much at all. The ball stayed on one side of the floor and um, the result was not good. Adam Spolin. Is tonight a night where he, it shows just how valuable that house can be to this team because of what he can do on both ends of the floor? Yeah, I mean, he's definitely a valuable piece and we could have used him tonight. Uh, I thought Dave Nawaba stepped in and did an admirable job. But, um, you know, we, it's, it's a group thing and uh, the next man had to step up. We obviously could have used House tonight and his ability to defend and shoot, but um, you know can't can't really worry too much about that. Hopefully he'll be better for the next game. But I'm really just disappointed in, in our offensive effort tonight because uh, that's not what I envisioned. Uh, that's not the game that I envisioned us playing. Do you have any clarity on how long he would be out? I'm sorry, I don't. Ali Kambajani. Offensively, it, you talked about not, not being happy and the lack of five out possessions, but was there anything in particular that could have been done differently with maybe your, your starters or just like the closing lineup to kind of get that going? I mean, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I got to watch the film and, and, you know, really figure it out. I was trying my best to get to the five out stuff and, and get us, you know, better organized. And as you go through this process, there's lows and highs. And just when you think you kind of got it offensively, especially um, you have nights like this. So they did a good job defensively taking us out of some of our stuff, but I would have been, I would have uh, liked to see more stuff, more actions, more, um, space for, for guys so it wouldn't be so hard for us to score. Ali Kambajani. Uh, and Steven, in terms of defensively, what they, sh they shot 16 to 39 from three. Was a lot of it have to do with your defense or was it simply also they're hitting tough shots, contested threes? Uh, some of it had to do with our defense. We we're trying to stay home early, but Tim Hardaway got hot. And he was making deep ones. And, you know, one of the game plan things on him was we have to make him put the ball on the floor. I mean, I've seen it time and time again on, on the other side. So um, when he's allowed to just catch and shoot, we were close to him, but we didn't make him put the ball on the floor. And, and uh, he got in a rhythm tonight and um, obviously made eight threes and got it going. Thank you, Coach.